Hi, this is Zach. I wanted to give a quick build update on my Atom IC Dolphin on just a few things I've had to upgrade or fix since my initial build. Before I get into that though, I just wanted to start by saying this plane has been really fun to fly. The versatility has been fantastic. You can dart around a river at high speed, up to 130, 140 k's an hour, or you can pull back, cruise along at 3.5 to 4 amps for 45 minutes, probably pushing an hour if you take it really easy. I've taken this plane to a number of places now and it never fails to deliver whatever style of flying you want to try. One of the important things to me is to keep the plane fairly light so that if you've got a tricky landing situation like here, you can still pull up the speed, flare it at the end and plonk it down where you need to. So getting into the things that I've had to upgrade since the initial build are the airflow for the Vista. I'll talk briefly about the GPS positioning and cover off on motor upgrades. On my initial build, I put the Cadex VTX straight underneath the intake port without thinking about exhausts for it. Unfortunately, this wasn't enough to keep the plane cool and during my maiden, I was getting overheating messages. So when I got back, I cut the port a little bit bigger and I also installed an exhaust port at the back of the main hatch. Unfortunately, this still didn't prove enough to stop the overheating messages from flashing up during flight and this is in winter. So I've now installed a scoop for the front port. I've raised the VTX a few millimeters to be better in the airflow. And I've also enlarged the exhaust port at the back using a hot iron tip. So hopefully this now fixes the issue because I haven't had the message come up again, but we'll see what happens in summer. As for the GPS, where I put it initially was too close to the other electronics, including the ESC, so I've now moved it forward, which has it locking on much faster and with more satellites showing. The first motor I used was way too underpowered for it, but it was one I had handy. As you can see from this launch, it was really lethargic, even at 80% throttle. So then I swapped in an Emacs Eco uh, 2207-1900KV as soon as it arrived, and this was much better. As you can see, no issues with thrust after I swapped that over, and using a slightly bigger 7x4.5 prop. Many flights later though, I managed to snag the prop on landing, which ripped the stock motor mount right off. I could have easily glued this back in, but it gave me an excuse to upgrade the motor mount to a 3D printed one, which gives a few more millimeters of clearance for the motor, a slightly larger Brother Hobby 2507 with a lower KV, and uh, sticking with the same prop, which gives me slightly better low end thrust and efficiency, hopefully runs cooler, and is still only 40 grams to try and keep the plane nice and light. So this is the first flight with the new motor. Very windy day, gusting quite a bit. I lowered the auto launch throttle to 70% and the uh, climb out to only 18 degrees and it's performing really nicely. Quite happy with this motor on the first flight. Maintaining 40% throttle gives it a, a nice cruise speed, drawing only 4.1 to 4.2 amps. So uh, if this is my cruising performance, I'm pretty happy. And it does seem a little quieter as well. My other planes are pretty much just sitting around gathering dust. I don't really know when I would choose to pull one out now for a flight because this plane is basically a jack of all trades. Whether I want to cruise for 45 minutes, fang around the trees, zipping in and out of stuff fast, or whether I just want the options to do whatever I want when I get to a new place. So uh, it's just so convenient having a small package that's nice and light to carry if I want to walk up a hill to go for a fly. 
So I guess time will tell whether those other planes get much time in the sun. If not, I might be time to move them on. But regardless, I'm having a really good time with this little dolphin. So uh, I'll just let this play out for the next 30 seconds. Thanks for watching.